Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're tackling two related hands-on projects. First, we'll recover only allocated files from a disk image. Then in the second project, we'll create a report listing all the unallocated files found on the same disk. Let's get started. First, we'll open Autopsy for Windows and create a new case. Click the Create New Case icon, and in the New Case Information window, we'll name the case Chapter 1, Project 4. In the Additional Information window, we'll enter Chapter 1, Project 4 as the case number, and add our name as the examiner. Then, we'll click Finish to move on to the next step. Now, we need to select the data source. We'll choose Disk Image or VM File from drop-down menu. Then, we'll click Browse to locate the image file, which is stored in our Work folder. In the Configure Ingest Modules window, we'll click Select All to enable all the ingest modules. These modules will help us analyze the data more thoroughly. After selecting them, we'll click Next and then Finish to start the analysis. Once Autopsy finishes processing, we'll focus on finding allocated files, files that haven't been deleted. In the Tree Viewer pane, we'll expand Views, File Types, and by extension. We'll click on subfolders with numbers greater than zero to view the files. In the Result Viewer pane, we'll scroll to the right until we see the Flags column. We'll sort this column by clicking the Flags header, which brings all the allocated files to the top of the list. Now, we'll extract the allocated files, Control, click each allocated file to select them. Once selected, we'll right-click and choose Extract Files. Autopsy will automatically save these files in the case subfolder. We can check that just to make sure. Going to the case subfolder, we see the files we just extracted, the photo of Lincoln's tomb and the copy of the Gettysburg address. If you don't know what that is, read up on your history. Anyways, after extracting the files, we'll write a brief memo listing all the files we exported. This memo will serve as a record of our findings. Once the memo is complete, we'll leave Autopsy running for the next project. So now that we've recovered the allocated files, let's move on where we'll identify and report on the unallocated or deleted files found on the same disk. We'll start by expanding views, file types, deleted files, and then all in the tree viewer pane. So I could already see we got nine total deleted files. In the result viewer pane, we'll control, click all the files in the all subfolder to select them. Then we'll right-click the selection, point to Tag File, and click Quick Tag, then Follow Up. Next, we'll generate a report for the deleted files. We'll click Generate Report at, at the top of the screen. In the Generate Report window, we'll select the Results Excel option and click Next. In the Configure Artifacts Report window, we'll click the Specific Tagged Results button and select the Follow Up checkbox. Then we'll click Finish to generate the report. Once the report is ready, we'll click the results Excel path name to open it. The Excel file will contain detailed information about the deleted files, including their names and metadata. If we go to the case subfolder, we can view the report we just generated. Based on this, we'll write a brief memo summarizing our findings. The memo will simply list all the deleted files identified in the report. Once the memo is complete, we'll exit autopsy. And that's it. We've successfully recovered allocated files and generated a report for deleted files from the disk image. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.